Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Outer Wilds tonight. Um, I feel like we're approaching the end of this. Like, most of our little computer entries are, uh, are filled out and linked to each other. We know most of the things. Um, and now we just gotta tie most of it together, really. That's, uh, probably the only thing left here. Um, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at where we are. We learned about a bunch of quantum stuff last time, so if we could perhaps apply that to a bunch of this, we'll, uh, we'll get most of this done. A uh, gravity cannon? Whereabouts is this one? Uh, I don't know where that is. <laughs> I, I, we, could, we could always check. Um, but let's go back to, uh, oh, I don't know. The, um, uh, okay, figured out the lake bed cave. Right, this is where we learned about quantum entanglement, right? Okay, so we're, we're good there. Don't need any more of that. I'm going to go back to the quantum moon, probably. Yeah, that feels like a good place to be. Let's go back to the quantum moon. Let's land on the quantum moon. Since there was some stuff about, oh yeah, remember quantum imaging and quantum entanglement, and we didn't know about entanglement last time when we were there, so let's let's go see what we can see. Hey, game over. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, right. I need to um, do the thing and also one other thing. Uh, blip, blip, blip. Uh, blip, 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 blip. Blip. Stick. All right. All good. Uh, we need to find the quantum moon. There it is. Somewhere. <laughs> Probably on the opposite side of uh, Giant Steep, perhaps. Oh, no. No, there it is. Um, okay. Uh, we need our... Oh, we are coming in hot. Coming in too hot. Keep it in sight. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. We've got it in sight still. Reach giant steep atmosphere here. There we go. Right about there. Let's prepare our uh, scout launcher. Boop, boop, boop. That should be good enough. Now we can land. Ooh, coming in hot! <laughs> We're here, but we didn't damage anything somehow. Alright. Um, okay, we have set down. Um, there was something noted in that tower that we always appear on the south pole or something which you know fine that's fine that's fine and cool um but i am curious like if there's something perhaps at the north pole something more useful at the north pole i mean there's the thing oh there's also like a little that's intriguing there's a Cyclone de la Bop here, too. Now, I'm curious. Curious if that leads somewhere below the surface or whatever, but um, we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Okay, uh, we are currently at Giant Steep, whatever. Lights on. Close the door. Oh, uh oh, my gamepad doing a, doing a thing again. Might have to fix that very soon. Okay, um,. So we should be here. Quantum imaging, quantum entanglement, sixth location. Yeah, okay. Um, if we turn off the lights... Oh, we have moved. We have moved to... Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Okay. 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 Alright, we are at the thing. Lights on. Um, oh, wait. No, that's Dark Bramble. I don't want to be a Dark Bramble. Sorry. Lights off. It's deep. Thing. Uh, whatever. There we go. Okay. Lights off. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm pretty sure we figured out that now that we are on the moon, we are entangled with it. And once the lights go off, then it goes, oh, jeez. Uh, 
Um, Crapadoo. We we are ensconced within this thing now. <laughs> uh, well, okay. Can we then? Um, uh, shoot. Because we're at the thing. We're at the eye of the universe or whatever that I wanted to be at. But we're, we're sealed in. I don't like it. Alright. Lights off. Well, we probably have to close the door now too. Okay. So we're at that. Now we're at that, so lights on. Open that. 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 Okay, now there's cactuses and shit out here. I wonder, like, each of these might be leading to different things, actually. Um. Oh, I wonder what happened to our ship. I know we landed at the South Pole, but now I'm kind of, uh... A little bit. Okay, yeah. Alright. We're gonna fix our gamepad. Please pause. I've been trying to work out these weird control issues, but I did not apparently fix them all, so I will just swap to a different method for now. And fuck around with it later. So, stand by for a hot second here. Whilst we fix this. Temporarily, at least. Just have to restart the game for this. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, okay. I wonder what that's gonna do now, though. Uh... <laughs> that's a little troublesome. Um, okay. Well, let's, uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's going to reset the loop, which is fine. That's fine. We can do that again. Um, I do just need to restart the game because it looks like it did not like me fucking around with my gamepad while the game was running. So stand by for a brief black screen here. While it does its thing, maybe. Come on, Otter Wilds. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, well, we'll let that sit for a bit. Hmm. Okay, restart. I want to make sure that this recaptures appropriately. Oh, <laughs> the wrong screen, of course. Temporarily. There we go. Okay, that looks fine. Alrighty. That just means we need to go directly to uh, Quantum Moon again. That's fine. Easy. Easy stuff. set here. Whereabouts is it gonna be? Usually it's been around um, Giant's Deep, actually. <laughs> That's been the, 
the first place we've seen it most times, but not this time. There it is. Oh, that's right around uh, Timber Hearth there. Even better. Oh, uh, alright. Okay, let's just get a nice photograph of it before we go in for the landing. Perfect, that's fine. Thank you. Ooh, coming in hot. Ouch. <laughs> All right. Shit's busted. <laughs> Shit's busted up real good there. Okay, let's... Uh, Shit repaired before we set out again. Curious to see if we can maybe take this a bit closer to the the tower of whateverness there. Oh no! Oh, we accidentally took off off and then it went away. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's right there. Okay, that should do. Oh, actually, wait. I don't. We need to keep the thing. There we go. <laughs> Alright, try again. Careful this time. Whoop! Alright. Now, don't take off, take off. Just go... Oh, what the hell? Trees. Oh, did it fucking... Nope! Stay in the atmosphere. My goodness. Very touchy. These damn trees keep, like, fucking jamming my style here as I'm waiting for the... There. Okay, there's the tower. I'm gonna try to get this, like, right outside the door, I think. Because ideally, what I'd like it to be, I'd like it to just be kind of... Well, if that's the case, then, actually, let's, um, uh... Pop the scout down, like, right here. I mean, I guess I could have gone outside to do that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We're landed. Oh, and now it's gone. And now it's back. <laughs> Alright, uh... Take the thing. Take the snapshot of the tower. Maybe leave it there. Okay, uh... Lights on. Close door. Um, lights off. Right. Okay, dark bramble. Don't know what that one is. Giant's deep. Whatever that one is again. Actually, I might want to go to that one too. I don't remember what that one is. Uh, Dark Ramble again, Ember Twin, eh. There we go, that's a lot. Let's see what this opens to here. Yeah, okay, that's what I was afraid of. I don't know... Oh, I see. So we're kind of... Jeez, that's hard to... Hard to get a good picture. Because <laughs> it's sort of tweaked a little bit. Um, Alright, so it's like... Yeah, it's like we're encased in one of the quantum stone things. I don't know... Hmm... I don't know how I'm going to get out of here now without moving to a different spot, so... Pulls that up again. 
lights off. Giant steep we've been to. Okay, I want to see what this one is. Because I'm not 100% sure where this one actually happens to be. I'm a little distressed that... Oh. I'm a little distressed that my ship isn't here. Oh, probably don't want to float off the planet, though. So I might have lost my ship. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll be fine. I want to take a look around in each of these locations to see if there's something right. So it looks like it's maybe just the South Pole. There's the accessible area. Oh! Oh, right! Um, the, uh, the Nomai probe, too. I know my little shuttle, so uh, I am curious. Uh, right, no, we knew we knew about this stuff. We were in here once before. Oh, because I accidentally shoved my butt off the thing, <laughs> like almost immediately. Uh, damn, I was hoping I could maybe yoink that core out and use it in the vessel. It's not. Uh, alright. I don't think there's anything we can do here. I suppose we've got a way out if we need it. Oh, oh, now I'm in space. Uh-oh. <laughs> Duck crap. I think I'm gonna fall into the sun. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, um, I don't know if that yielded anything new. <laughs> I don't know if we learned anything from that. Uh, that leads me to believe maybe we go do some other quantum things then. Yeah, because that didn't unveil anything. We've got to get to the center of the Ash Twins somehow. The sun station is still uh, a bit unknown. Maybe let's, let's try to... Like, I know it's really close to the sun, but did we try landing on it once and then we couldn't, or... Let's go check it out again, because I'm curious. I am curious, one, where it is. Oh, that looks like it's there. Yeah. I want to get to the orbity parts there. But I don't think it lets me. I think maybe it's a little bit too close to the sun. I already lost sight of it. So I want to get sort of close to the sun. Also not too close that we get caught in the gravity well wow, how did we manage to slingshot ourselves this far? Come on. Okay, there, I kinda see it. It's going around down the south here. going all the way around. Oh, and it might have just sunk into the surface of it, too. Uh, okay.
Oh wait, no. It's... Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough. Like it's orbiting real close. Oh, it's got a little warp pad on it though. <laughs> it's got a warp pad on it. That's interesting. I don't know that I'll necessarily be able to uh, warp to it, but I'm gonna figure out how to warp to places. I know it's, there's the towers in Ash Twin that do it. Either they do the warping, or they're the target of warping, or, or something. And there's also the White Hole Station, which we could probably just go back to and figure it out from there. Okay. Pretty unlikely we'll actually be able to land the ship on the thing in the ding. So let's uh, go through the black hole. No, not Hollow's Lantern. I want uh, Brittle Hollow. Um, preferably without crashing into Timber Hearth. Thank you. Dark Bramble over there. Um, and I do want to get below the surface. So, probably here is fine and navigable, right? Easy. Okay. Alright, now I just need to find the White Hole Station. That's kind of the tough part. It's not extremely noticeable as to where it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Somewhere on here. Best we can. And close enough. Okay, now how do I get in this sucker? I think it's just uh, over here, yeah? It's got that thing there. Ember twin projection stone. Do I? Yeah. Uh, White hole station. Yeah, we knew about this. Warp alignment, etc. But then it goes back to uh, Brittle Hollow. But I don't want to do that. Can I change its? Um... Can I change its destination? Maybe. Two, just the two sides. Now, oh, then it just sets it to rotating constantly, huh? Alright. Well, no matter. Okay, because then if we're on the pad and that lines up, then whoop, 
up we go to uh, to Brittle Hollow. But I don't want to go there. Do I? I don't think I do. But I guess that's pretty much the only place I can go from here, right? This is always just to tell me about how these things worked. I'll take this thing with me as well. Wait, what was this? Oh, that's the Ember Twin. Okay. Okay. That was to turn that on, right? so certain about what I should be doing while I'm here. Because we got the thing, right? Was there a, a projection thingamading we could do with this? I don't remember if there was one nearby. Ah, there. Uh, wait, hold station. Yeah, they're talking about arriving before you left. One of the towers on uh, Ember Twin, I think, right? Can we? Damn, I was hoping like maybe I could shove my scout through here and be done with it, but I don't. Okay, so I don't know if that's helpful. Probably not. Um, but I do want to see if there is. Actually, where the heck are we? Oh, we're on Brittle Hollow, that's right. Um, well, my ship is way far away. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to be able to uh, get that back. Phantom Moon, yeah, we read about that stuff already, I guess. We can try. Try the warp pad again and see if that takes me back to Whitehall Station. I guess it would take us back regardless, huh? All right. Standing on the warp platform on the floor during the alignment to be warped. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Um, but I'm less certain of is like how to use the other warp towers because <laughs> we've seen them. I've seen the other warp pads, but I haven't been able to figure out how to get to them otherwise. the other thing I would like to check out is this some bitch. That's all the way over there. I don't know what planet is that on. Oh, that's on Brittle Hollow itself. Okay. Well, let's take a trip. space thing, right? It was the radio tower and the satellite or whatever, right? Yeah. Alright, well, 
were we aiming at? Fertile Hollow, right? Yeah. Grab the kit. It's on the other side of the planet. There's apparently more to explore in it as well. There's a whole like little walkabout thing down to it. So maybe there's something here. Seven percent is enough for anybody, I guess. Stone. What does that do, really? Just, uh. Oh, I guess this is the, um. Tower that we can't get up, right? <laughs> On account of not being able to climb busted shit, right? But let's get it again, regardless. That shuttle ready to go to Quantum Moon. Let's see the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Towers on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Sorry, west to the crossroads. West. Okay. Uh, that is south. That is west, I think. <laughs> okay, uh, west is roughly this away. Successful this is gonna be though. <laughs> Considering. It just said west. It didn't say much in the way of like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh well, this looks maybe a bit crossroady. Very right here from the South Pole has been harrowing. Oh wait, I think we read this stuff. This is from uh Spar, I think. It starts across from my camp site inside the ruined building with trees growing on it. It doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. Okay. Stairs leading down, you say? I think we can manage that. Oh, and then here's some ghost matter and shit, too, right? Yeah. Right up in there. Um, can we maybe. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Alright. The one with trees growing out of it, stairs leading down. Also, ooh, glowy purple thing. Um, does that have any significance? Doesn't look like it. Damn. Okay. Stairs leading down. Uh-huh. Stairs leading down. Ooh, what? <laughs> right. Gravity stuff. Oh, what? <laughs> Not 
too late to make this work here. We did fuck around for a few minutes there. There we go. There's the workshop. I guess right to go to the gravity cannon, straight ahead to go, oh, yeah, straight ahead to go to the tower, I think. At least I hope that's what that means. Uh, gravity cannon east of whatever, no, I don't want to go there. Think city north 250. No, I want the thing which says, here we go. Uh, so I'm going to get back up. And you can see it's north and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing is going to Okay. Uh, oh, north is the hanging city. I need, okay, so then I, I need to go west to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, which is uh, essentially straight ahead here, I think. Um, yep, there it is. I don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. Guess we just take a, take a jump and jetpack over? Oh no, is it falling? It's falling! Oh no! Duck crap. Well, alright, that's fine. But where, where did the parts end up? <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of want to be here, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, coming in hot. Oh. But there's nothing really here here though, so uh I might be SOL on this particular loop. Oh, unless it, this is part of the gravity cannon? I don't know, it's hard to tell what this is. Is that? like little bits of the thing that brust busted off here, but I don't know that I can do anything with this now once it's all chunked up. down in there too. Probably not. Okay. Well, might have to not fuck around quite so much before we get over to the quantum tower, or tower of quantum knowledge rather. So, uh, we'll just meditate on that. <laughs> Because we know how to land on the quantum moon. We know how to have it move on purpose. But we don't know how to get out of it once we're in the sixth location. That's kind of the... That's the problem. One of... One of the problems, anyway. Explored that, that was fine. Okay. Uh Brittle Hollow essentially, right? And then we go back to the quantum or quantum tower of quantum knowledge. 
That's the best lead I got, I think. Okay. Get over there quickly before it starts falling apart. Gravity cannon ultimately that I went towards, was it? I think it was more towards the, uh, the warp pad thing. I thought. So there's the split at the glacier. warp thing, which isn't active unless you go to the Whitehall station first, right? Then I kind of went... which direction did I go? I think I went west or something, and I don't know which direction west is because they don't give us a fucking compass over here. Oh, right, it was here because there was the smoke. I was like, yeah, follow the thing down that's in the trees. Okay, let's just land, like, right here-ish. <laughs> there. Right here it is. Trees growing out of it. It's not that one, but it's this one. Here we go. Uh. All right, that works. Oof! Ow! My shins. Okay. Um. I want to go north. I want to go west, right? That was the deal. It's all the way over there. I'm just going to jetpack over here like a big damn fool. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Um. Um. Duck crap. <laughs> ah. Bramble, where's the fucking white hole station? Let me get out of here. <laughs> there, is that it? Actually, no, I don't know what that is. It's another chunk of something.
is. It's right there. I see the tower over there. It is what it is. Let's try to get to it on our own. There should be a crack in the surface big enough for us to slip through here somewhere, right? This might be the tower itself anyways. Yep. Okay, Tower of Knowledge. Uh, your first pillar is to send the steps to the entrance below. Okay. Yeah, that's nice and all, but again, I'm not sure how we quite get to the interior. It's like shit's all busted. to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Okay, so we're... We're here! <laughs> but... But then what? Uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge, you're making your first mineral energy to send these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. Send these stairs. Yeah, I mean, that's great and all, but, uh... <laughs> but fuck. Uh, can't get up there. Sure, but... If this is where we get them all lined up. Feel good and such. Guess we're gonna do one thing, we may as well, alright? Here. Oh crap. I think I missed my chance. Don't! Oh, it was pretty close though. <laughs> Nuts. Alright. Um, here, quantum fluctuations. There was another. Wasn't there a thing like here? Yeah, there's a thing there. But that's like up on the surface, isn't it? good does it do me to be down here? There. This one work? Okay, yeah, so now we're up near the top. Oh, right, that's the way we took to get down there. Son of a... I wonder if maybe I can use the, um, the tower shard to get in there. I don't, 
Probably not. Right. It's all the way the fuck over here. Alright. Do we ever read this stuff? Wandering moon, blah 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, no, we knew about this stuff. And it's all lit up, so it's not like I can use it to warp anywhere anyways. That's a bummer. Except in the slightly different locations around here. whoop de doo Tarantula Town. Well, okay. thing to, to read in there, but how in the f they want me to actually get there? That shit's all busted. That's all busted. Surface is broken up. Can't climb. Can't go in from at the top, can't climb up from below, can't use the ship to get up in there because it's too too wide to fit in the narrow spaces. There's no warp point into there. Trees are moving, yeah, we know about that. strike that's going to be falling. It looks like there's gaps just kind of down below, but... No, so just windows to something else. Ow. Yeah, just look at that long-ass stretch of whatever. Nothing gonna be able to get up there, so what in the... Unless we really try to wiggle the ship through one of these gaps, I don't see how we're supposed to get the fuck up there. Investigate some of those. Like it's got some of those gravity crystal things jumping around. Gravity plating's all busted to hell. This I think goes yeah over the crossroads. What we do? That one goes back up to the surface. And there's no other paths around here. Hmm. Kind of hoping 
there's one more meteor strike or whatever that happens while we're here so we can maybe at least get a float up there as it breaks away from the surface. Something. There goes that bit. much of this old planet left. I don't think photography is going to get us anything more here. No, like, gravity plating hanging down low enough that we could maybe jetpack in. Gravity's too strong. Anyways, oh no, it's got a few minutes. This thing is taking its sweet time getting busted up. There we go. Are we on a free fall now? Oh, yeah, yes, we are. <laughs> uh, not like it matters then. Oh, bonk. Scout, it's kind of over there. Well, so here's the tower itself, right? Okay, maybe that's what we were supposed to do all all along. <laughs> it was just to wait for it to break away. Oh, for gosh sake. So that we can get up in there. Alright, well, don't waste this chance, I guess. Preparation sent giants deep, ready to depart. Uh, only carry you, just carry me and many of clan for them. One sixth, the most secret location. Uh, shrine clan develop, but remember this final one to explore the sixth location. The shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Ah, okay. <clears throat> I get it. Because otherwise, if it's on the south pole, then it gets embedded in, uh, in the little quantum rock there, so we can't get out. That was the deal. That's what was blocking us before. Okay, you know what? We, we can work with that knowledge then. Uh, if you make it first, you're almost prepared to set out. For, for remember your history, blah 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 blah. History not for only for ourselves, also to honor our members of our clan that came before us. Those after the crash, brought us the citizen, we became stranded on Brittle Hollow Number Twin. Uh huh. Looked up for the two different planets. 
and saw the quantum moon. Got curious about it. I'm able to reunite. We came back to the United Goal to find you know, my dream to see the quantum moon die before we decided to make before we discovered how to make the journey. Uh, um, when you reach the quantum moon, recall these no and carry their curiosity on. Well, I'm definitely curious, that's for damn sure. But now that we know that the shrine needs to be at the North Pole before we set out. We're ready then. See, very important bit of knowledge. Might have been able to brute force that, but uh, probably best to just read about it and go back. Okay, one more trip to the quantum moon, and also there's like two other uh, unknown quantum signals we can track down as well. If this one turns out to be bunk. nearby. There it is. Is that another Nomai corpse? Or maybe there's uh, like a log entry or something. Eh? Eh. Well, it's dead. <laughs> um, and is that at the North Pole? No, it is not at the North Pole. It needs to be at the North Pole, right? That was what we, uh discovered, learned, rather. I don't know how we get over to the North Pole without drifting our butts off this place, right? As soon as we go up above the cloud layer, then it's going to be like, no, nope, sorry, buddy. Or is this North Pole... Is that close enough to being the North Pole? <laughs> It was pretty close. Um, I guess we'll we'll try it and see. enough to being the North Pole to get out? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so when they say North Pole, they fucking mean North Pole. Alright. It's around Dark Bramble. Is that good enough? Yes, it is. Oh, which might actually mean there might be a specific uh... 
uh, location it has to be in for the North Pole to be accessible. Which is interesting. It's like Dark Bramble, perhaps, is not the one. The North Pole is unassailable there. Oh, there's the thing. Okay. Well, let's try the next one. Alright, so Dark Bramble is a, is a no-go. I don't know if that we've tried any of the other four before uh, trying it again. So, alright, let's try Brittle Hollow. Oh, okay. This is, you know, purely North Pole. Excellent. All right. Now let's make sure we get get it to the place it needs to be here. There. There we go. North Pole. Success. able to step out on the surface. Okay. Where the f are we? <laughs> Where even is this place? I have no mine here. Um, hello. Hi, hey, hello. Solanum. Uh, who are you? Okay. Good, good, good talk. Hi, the universe stone. You stone. Quantum moonstone. Identify stone. Explain stone. Uh,. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, identify you. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. We're talking, we're, we're having a chat. Ah, no way, I clan ride in the stars in the house, and now we call it home. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Okay, I know about you. Um,. Identify the Eye of the Universe, please. We're orbiting the Eye of the Universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The Eye is older than the Universe itself, and it lies in an extremely distant orbit around the star system. Okay. Um, identify quantum moon. The quantum moon where we both are standing. Yeah, I know that. Thanks. Uh, despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Interesting. Okay. All right. Um, identify me. <laughs> Who the fuck am I? I met one of your kind for us, and honor speaks to you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Any questions? I would ask if you could comprehend. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. Yeah. Well, I mean. Okay. Um, I think we did all those, so, uh, please explain you. <laughs> I have first heard of the image of the quantum moon, although I claim to make this current even come of age. Uh, even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. We're here to be close to the eye, while the eye is obscured from our sight. We can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay. Alright. 
Um, explain me. <laughs> I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and find the eye of the universe. Well, yeah, yes and no. 50% accuracy. I'm not sure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Uh, ch ch sure? Yes. We'll go with that. Um, explain quantum moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. Yeah, yeah, we've seen a few things. This can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is, is its primary location. And the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum there. Thus, the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. Okay. How many, how many times do we want to say quantum until it starts sounding like a fake word? Uh, the same way the area surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum, too. Yeah. Alright. Sure. Okay. Uh, explain quantum eye. I'll pick, put this one back in a thing. Uh, there's fundamentally, fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a small scale. One approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. I um, mean, probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect that I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Uh, have we? Sure, yes. Uh, conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility, yep. Uh, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? I don't know. I'm probably going to try. Over time, that has become my clan's greatest question. Okay. Um... I, I mean, that's every combination of things, I guess. Well, at least for uh, for verb and topic. Um, you and and I of universe. <clears throat> uh, many of my family believe the eye called this to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was malevolent. It lured my clan to the star system only vanish from them completely. I don't fear it. Yada, yada, yada. See the eye itself, but it's probably beyond your reach. You think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh. Interesting. Sure. Uh, you and me. We do not have much connection, you and I, besides us both being here on the quantum moon at the eye of the universe, right? Uh, I feel special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Well, I'm probably the first sapient being you've seen in a while um you have already identified you've already explained you and the quantum moon maybe my claim before me i journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye it's the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself you think it's i'm strange but i have a hypothesis maybe not okay no we, we knew that already sorry uh, you and... Okay. Fine. Uh... Me and Quantum Moon. Is this your first time here on the Quantum Moon? Uh, no, I've been here several times, actually. Uh, but not here, in this particular place. Come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Well, I hope so, too. Uh... Alright. Uh, me and I of the universe. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe, would you try to enter it? Yeah, that's why I'm here. What do you imagine the effects of a conscious observer might be? I don't know. I don't know, man. I just work here. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm thinking, buddy. Hold on. Um. I have universe and quantum moon. I don't remember if I've tried every combo yet, so... As you notice, quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location it's currently orbiting. Yep, we knew that. It looks quite different when orbiting giant steep than it does when orbiting hourglass twins. Quantum moon clearly changes its different forms. 
that I, being this moon's primary location, must be similarly malleable. Thus, we can hypothesize that the I represents extreme changeability. Fucking extreme. Uh, that said, despite its malleable nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. What would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Oh, making me curious, man. Oh. Uh, alright. Um. Did we. I think that was pretty much every combo, yeah? Hmm. I mean, I could just jetpack up into that, I guess. See what happens. Uh. <laughs> well, I guess there's one combo we haven't done. Probably pretty dumb. Um. Identify. And explain, please. Eh? <laughs> eh? There are two tenants of no mind. Of oh, okay. It's an actual reasonable response. I was figuring it's some bullshit like, hey, idiot. <laughs> so you gotta understand it's our way of living. Okay. You know what? That's reasonable, man. I respect. Respect. Um, I think we've done pretty much every other combo, though. More or less. If not, I'm sure my handy dandy computer will say more to learn here. Alright, well, okay, so you're at the South Pole here, buddy. Anything else around here, or should I just jetpack up uh, off into the, the great beyond here? Alright, let's go. Whee! Whoa! Oh. Oh, that just put us back to, uh... here. Um, that's not what I expected or wanted. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. Back to Timber Hearth, I guess, huh? Alright, so which one was that? That was, uh, I think it was Brittle Hollow was the one with the accessible North Pole. accessible here is it is it not do we have to like oh no here it's over here All right yeah okay perfect or no that's not it i thought it was brittle hollow that was the accessible north pole bit is it not am i dumb i think i'm stupid was an icy bit, so that meant kind of brittle hollow. Like, little, literally right here, no? No, I guess not. Okay, oh, oh. Oh, we'll get back, back to the surface, thank you. Well, alright, either way we have to go to somewhere else then. They should have looked around, uh, actual quantum moon bit. A little bit more. I mean, we had a good chat with uh, Solanum there. That was fun. Why not? Dark whatever. Now we're 
Might be on a different spot of Brutal Hollow. That might be good. I guess not. Does it change? Or was I just in the wrong spot? I'm kind of surprised the universe hasn't vaporized here. Or this solar system, I guess. Alright. What happens if I just kind of peek above the surface? Very carefully. Very carefully. Oh. Oops. That was too that was too far above the surface. <laughs> uh oh. Uh where's my ship? Uh well, the ship is lost, I think. Bit. Okay, we're on. We're back on Brittle Hollow. Actually, that's fun. Um, yeah, I'm actually really surprised we. Maybe time didn't pass while we were on the Quantum Moon there. But okay. Uh, well, it's probably best to just meditate and see what it filled in for us. And if it tells me there, there are additional things that I need to learn there, I'm going to be a little bit mad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did all the combos. Even if we didn't, I guess we can get back there. Oops, I should have paid attention to which thing it was at when we actually got to the North Pole, whatever that was. Our fill in things. There we go, we got that. We know about the sixth location. Okay. I have the quantum moon, blah 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 blah. Moon's North Pole, yep, yeah, we knew about that. Okay, that's kind of all squared away then. Um, subsurface energy readings. Oh, right, the comet itself we haven't done. Haven't figured out how to do the rest of it. Um, and there's still some stuff about the orbital probe cannon we don't know. And the twin towers. Ash twin towers, rather. Um, I guess that might be the next on our plate here. That's the only other one more, well, except for the vessel, I guess more to explore there yeah sure but we need like a, a functioning energy core thing that we don't know where to get uh all right well let's head to ash twin then yes where it happens to be there Ooh, coming in a little hot there. <laughs> Excuse me. Although I don't know how much of Ash Twin is going to be explorable while it's still covered in sand and shit. Is 
Yeah, here it is. Woo! But, uh, also, what can I do here? There's obviously the top of one of the towers, but it's leading out, so I can't do shit about it. Is there another one that's poking out of the surface that we can see? Yeah, there. Is this one leading down, or is this also being like, nah, man? Whoop, bonk. That's kind of no. That one's leading out as well. Well, shh. What do you want from me then? <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Well, we can go bother Chirp for a bit then. Whilst uh, Ash Twin is being drained of sand. Uh, is this? No, that's not Chirp's camp. Uh, I should have like a. A bit of smoke rising from it from the campfire, right? Oh, and then there's also the matter of... I think I read this from one of the Chivo descriptions. To be like, hey, I'ma launch my ship out of a gravity cannon. Cause that's fun! I just gotta remember which, uh... Which side of the bit does the launching? <laughs> I think it's I think it's uh, L, the left side, L for launch and right side R for return. I hope that's the case, anyways, because otherwise that the recall of the Nomai ship is gonna destroy mine. Be fun. Oh, it doesn't even tell me. Okay, yeah. Oh, R is for return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we knew that. Okay. Lunch! Well, there goes that. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that necessarily did anything. Besides, uh, give me a little entertainment, you know? ship goes probably into orbit and otherwise. Bye bye ship. <laughs> uh, okay, there's church ship. Where's uh church though? There. Oh yeah. Uh mm, I might not be able to get back to Ash Twin now. <laughs> Ruh <-roh. laughs> Ah, well. Hey, Chert, I have a question for you. Uh, I found something. I found... Uh... I think I told you all about this. Found about the quantum moon, blah, 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 blah. Yep. Um... What are you up to? Uh, how do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Uh, how dangerous is a big column of falling sand? Check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drained off. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing it, right? The towers are being uncovered. Uh, just saying hi. Alright, um have a little let's roast a marshmallow just for grins you know well tasty sugary diabetes -y treat all right then we can doze off for a few minutes I do wish this moved a little bit faster, though. Like, or if you could control its speed. Because, I mean, yeah, it's essentially 10, 10x speed, right? One second is 10 seconds type thing, but when you're dealing with a 
two-ish minute loop. That's uh, a lot of time to be waiting around. I really just kind of want to stay here to see, uh, oh, is that on its final circuit here? No, it just barely, uh, that was its second circuit, alright. I wonder, does it auto-wake me up when the sun goes boom? That would be kind of fun. I want to talk to Chert as the sun is doing a kaboom. So, probably another three or so minutes, yeah. Kind of mimics my own sleep patterns. Wake up every few minutes. <laughs> it sucks. Fucking sucks. Uh, All right, yeah, that sun's looking looking big and red. Stars are all dying. There's been too many supernova for it to be anything else. It's are next. You understand our sun. We're next. Uh, what do you mean we're next? Uh, I didn't have to know, but I don't know. I had to update the star charts to go looking for things I shouldn't have. But now our sun is about to. Oh. Oh, fuck. I mean, yes. You're right. You're right, it's it's about to do a boom, don't worry though. Don't worry though, it'll be fine, we're in a time loop. <laughs> I mean, I'm in a time loop, I don't know what about you though, Chert. Actually, oh well, no, wait, let's, while we're here, while we're doing this whole thing. Let's see if you got anything more about... I found something! <laughs> Isn't that great? You know what? I found a few things myself! Most of them have to do with the sun exploding! <laughs> oh, poor shirt. <laughs> I mean, still going at it on that drum. You gotta... Gotta respect that. Dedication. You know? Dedication to the art. Oh yeah, that thing's about to really go. Um, why are the stars dying? I don't know, they're old! <laughs> uh, it's funny. Hello. Let's see we fellas. Sit, sit together and watch the stars die. If it helps, we're in a time loop, so we won't really die. Is that how you're coping with this? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Does it help? Uh, sure! Sure. I don't know if you said I like that idea. Okay, you know what? Bring a little hope. A little hope. Plus we'll get like a, a real nice front row seat to this too. You know, if we're gonna go, like if we're gonna go as a species, I think a supernova way isn't a bad way to go. Not gonna be able to do shit about it. Probably be pretty instant. I mean, once it happens. Right? Painless. As far as going is go is concerned, right? There's a tower thing over here. Did we ever look at this one? I never realized what this one was. I mean, I imagine the walk up to Supernova <coughs> might be a problem. Is 
a whole bunch of stuff that probably happens before it goes a sudden kaboom. But, uh, oh, that's kind of pretty. I mean, this part of it would probably be horrendously painful, but this part, yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, we, we did the funny and, and stuck around and talked to Chert whilst uh, the sun did a kaboom. It did give us a fair few, like, hey, ship log updated whilst we were talking about the sun going kaboom, so... You know, maybe that'll mean something. Oh, it didn't really do anything, though. Probably just adds a few things, being like, Yeah! The sun blew up. Grats, you told somebody else about it. Double grats. Gold star. Um, alright. Any back? Did pretty much all of that. There's a few things of the probe cannon we could check out. Uh, we could try to check out the comet again. We could go find the vessel again. Uh... Oh, here. All stars in the universe are dying, including our sun. Yep, simply dying from old age. Much older. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay, that was all the log updates there. That's fun. Okay, let's, um... You know, there's those two unknown quantum signals. That seems like a good thing to do. Let's see if we can find where those were. Cave one. It's is there one okay, yeah, there's one relatively close. Maybe even on Timber Hearth itself. Okay, no, it was like what was it? Was it down beneath the surface maybe? Yeah, it must have been, huh? Okay, so it's like over here-ish. Oh, within town? Uh, okay. Well, didn't even need to launch off. Well, I probably wanted my jetpack anyways, though. Oh, maybe it's like the very first bit in the like the little museum. It's just like, oh yeah, this this thing's creepy as hell. Hey, Hornfuls. Uh, the statue opened its eyes. I bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Yeah, I mean, I did. Now I'm trapped forever in this time loop. This fucking Groundhog Day-ass time loop here. Um, I found Feldspar, by the way. Uh, didn't immediately join you in a ship and return you as incredibly Feldspar of them. <laughs> I'm entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking about. We ought to push them out of the dreadful place with all haste. I think I'm going to prepare a ship. Really should be going to the next home. Uh-huh. Um, where are the other travelers? Yeah, we knew about that, though. Um, uh, tell me more about them. Four founding members. Yeah. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thanks. All right, I was going to find the other thing that was in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this is the... The first thing that was like, yeah, it's weird. Weird and shit. Okay, blah blah blah. Yeah, I was learning about the language and stuff. Alright, gravity... <laughs> Gravity crystal thing. Um, K. 
Okay, yeah, it's talking about the supernova. One more. One more out there. It's Quantum Moon. Oh, it's Shard. Cave Shard. Alright. Should probably go back to the ship. Although, now that we've done a lot of exploring, will the other folks around here have more to say? Be like, hey, aren't you excited to be going out for the first time? Be like, yeah, first time, that's cute. It'll burn the heck out of you. Uh, you know, Ghost Manor's how tech they lost their foot, right? <laughs> Is that true? I guess that's kind of true, huh? Quantum signal to track down. I think. Might be another one after that. Who knows? Okay, grow shard, blah 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 blah, tower shard. Cave shard, quantum moon itself, island shard. I thought there was two unknowns. Maybe there wasn't. Museum shard, quantum moon, cave shard. Self is right there. Tower shard on uh, Brittle Hollow there. Museum shard, island shard. Okay, well, looks like there's. We looked away and the moon disappeared. Right, 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 right. Well, let's see. What else is there? Could go land on the comet. We could dig up the Ash Twin again. I guess there's still something in Sunless City. Also, something else by the vessel and the probe cannon. Okay. Just little bips and bops to do yet. Alright, let's head back to the quantum moon, I guess. Where is it? There it is. Thirty-four kilometers away. Although it doesn't say there's more to learn there, so maybe that's just kind of a dead end now. Just go land on the comet. Maybe we're close enough to the comet where it's not gonna. Oops. Uh, is there autopilot? There's also the orbital can here, also turn. Just kind of hanging out, right? Or the... Or, yeah, the orbital probe cannon thing. Which, uh... Oh, actually... Whoa! Oh, right. <laughs> that was, uh... One of the islands that got popped out of Giant's Deep there, I guess. Just kind of land 
here. There was the little bit that was kind of oh, right there. Right there. That I kind of want to go visit. It's all busted up and shit, and I don't know if I'll be able to get there just with my jetpack. Let's explore the interior of this one more time. Two of these kind of got busted up real good. It's only this one really that was accessible. Hmm. Is the oh <laughs> this is the um the model of the center of Ash Twin there. Huh. Nine minutes, blah blah blah. Press the launch probe received from Ash Twin project. Can align with randomly cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory, gravity field activated. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we learned about there. Okay. There's the orbital probe cannon itself. Yeah. Oh, totally fucking busted up, but you know that's what happens. Uh, launch request received. Probe launch successful. Uh, receiving data from probe. Structure compromised. Yeah. No shit. Yeah, shit's busted, yo. Uh, severe structural stress, assessing damage. Uh, control module is intact. New port window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. That's, I think, where we are, right? Launch module? Uh, probe tracking module is missing. Straight up fucking gone. And that's, whoa, whoa, jeez. Essentially where we are right now, right? Oh, no, launch modules. Yeah, okay. Yep, no, I remember even over there. I think we read all of this, right? Did we? Uh, last cannon components. Uh huh. Uh, power setting, we are not under any circumstance. Yeah, I was talking about blah, blah, blah. We're gonna do it anyways, fuck everything. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, we knew about all that. I guess we never did like the, the fancy 3D projection stuff though. So that's That was what, the launch module? Or what well, which one was that? That was the control module, okay. The launch module had the busted ass uh, front window, right? And then the probe data module, uh, or probe control or whatever, uh, was totally fucking gone, right? Yeah, probe tracking just absolutely disappeared. Um. So, 
And if we can find that some bitch, we'll probably gain some valuable info. I have my doubts that we'll be able to find it. Oh, that might be it over there, actually. <laughs> that might be the thing that's sort of orbiting. Like that thing over there. Alright, come on. No, no, no. Come on. No, just fucking me. Go. There. Or that might be part of the cannon itself, which, either way, you know, something to explore. There. We're in. Oh, we're out. <laughs> we're in. Oh. What the? Oh, I got bopped out of there because it's apparently still a gravity cannon. <laughs> Whoops. There's still a little bit of power to it. Found a little nightmare seed thing up here in Giant's Deep. That's interesting. I remember seeing this. Oh, right, there was a... Uh, trying to get into the Giant's Deep core, too, that we never figured out. Oh. Oh, what is this? bunch of jellyfish and shit caught in the ice, but uh, not terribly useful to me right now. Knowing that it's here is helpful. Come on, just fucking climb up the damn thing. Oh my Jetpack. Eh. 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 Oh my goodness. Come on. <sighs> Fuck. There. All right. Uh. Oh crap. Uh. It's not going to get me any closer to where I want to go. Uh, maybe this is a thing I need my ship to get. Damn it. So I can kind of go down in the center here. Aha. Uh -huh. Sort of like so. I mean, not really, I guess. It's just the current that we can't bypass, right? A solid chunk of ice. Interesting. Something we can do up there, probably, huh? Well, all right. Get our ship back. <laughs> all right, one more quick look at Giant's Deep here, and then we'll call it a night. Since, uh, oops, discovered a thing <laughs> as to where the jellyfish came from, I guess. Or, actually, we are coming pretty close to time already. Uh, 
Yeah, it's probably best that we call it here, actually. Um, Slate, like, you got anything new to say? Um... He already knows about the time loop. But, I think that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, back to main menu. Alright, well, we'll pick this up next time. We did all the quantum stuff, we learned a bunch on the quantum moon, we talked to an actual Nomai. Uh, yeah, there's very few things left to do, I suppose. I'm not even sure there's a... Like a discreet endgame here. <laughs> Hard to say if there is, like we explore the, the things that we still got symbols on and that's about it. Um, but that'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Back here with Outer Wilds one more time. We'll chase down uh, the last few leads we got. Um, and then that'll probably be that. Uh, then Thursday, 7.30 p.m. CDT, will be Shmup Book Club. Some more uh, R-Type Leo or Super Hydra or uh, Radiant Silver Gun. Friday, Saturday, we're off, and then Sunday would be the next one after that. Long play, 7 p.m. CDT, but it is a holiday weekend, so uh, we'll see if I've got the energy to do it. Um, if not, we'll just take a, a nice weekend to recharge and then be back uh, Monday, 7 p.m. CDT. Um, assuming we finish Outer Wilds here on Wednesday, uh, Monday would then be the start of a new game. Which one exactly remains to be seen, but there's a couple that are kind of on the short list for that, so we'll see what happens. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.